Hey guys, it's Carson Miller Tech here, back from another video, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to take off and land a drone from your hands. Now, this is pretty dangerous, and this really only works with the DJI Phantom 3 series and the Phantom 4. If you have the Mavic, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna be able to take off and land a drone in your hands because that's probably pretty dangerous. Even this is really dangerous. So if you have a flat surface that you can take off from, then definitely do that. But I understand some people don't have a flat surface to take off from sometimes and land on. So uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to safely take off and land in your hands with a DJI Phantom 3 standard. So anyways, let's get into the video. I just want to mention really quickly that this can actually be very dangerous. So I would suggest not ever doing this unless you absolutely have to do it. I'm just saying now, I can't be responsible if <laughs> if you get hurt by trying this because I'm warning you now, it, it's very dangerous. So, a couple situations where you actually may have to do this, you may be asking yourself, why would anybody have to do this anyways? Well, first off, say you're in a place like me right now where I'm in the grass and you're not near a flat surface where you can take off. That's one reason. A second reason is you're like, you know, on a boat or something like that and you want to take off. That's another reason. And uh, yeah, I can't think of anything else right now. But anyways, to actually getting in how to do this. So first off, you're going to obviously have to turn on your remote controller, obviously. So now actually how to hold the drone when taking off and landing. Well, First off, you're going to want to choose what hand slash arm do you want to use. For me, I want to choose my right hand. So for me, I'm going to go and grab the drone, the rear part of the drone. This is important. You have to grab the back part of the drone or else you may become disoriented when flying if you grab from the front. So always grab from the back side of the drone, the correlating side of what arm you're using. So for me, since I'm using my right arm, I'm going to grab the right rear leg of the drone and you want to grab it on the vertical part of the leg. Don't go and grab it on the horizontal part of the leg or that can happen. And if that happens, more than likely the drone's just gonna go around and cut you. So uh, don't do that. So grab the vertical part of the leg. And then after doing that, for me, since it's the right hand, it makes it actually pretty easy. And I'm able to go and just press the power button with one hand. When actually powering on your drone, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have the drone as flat as you can, or else the drone won't calibrate correctly when actually warming up. So make sure you're holding it flat and steady and power it on. While that's happening, just go on your phone and connect to the Wi-Fi source of your drone, obviously. Pretty standard stuff right there. Then after connecting to your drone's Wi-Fi, just go into the DJI Go app. So now that the DJI Go app is working, just make sure that the drone is as far away from your body as you can. And there are a couple ways to actually take off. So the first way is to bring the two joysticks into each other, into the bottom corners, and that will power on the propellers or you can go and press the auto takeoff. For me, I'm gonna do the most difficult way, which is bringing the two joysticks together. And since I have a lanyard on, that actually makes it pretty easy. So if you're doing this by yourself and you're taking off with your hand, you're definitely gonna want a lanyard. But, so in order to take off with the joystick method, you're gonna have to know that after you take off, you're gonna have to push the left stick up, which I'll show you in a second. So this is kind of hard to show you, but just bring the two joysticks together. And as you'll see, that'll turn on the propellers. Now just push up on the left stick and then let go once you feel it lifting up. And there you go. Now it'll just hover in place and stay where it is. You don't have to worry about it like going down to the ground since you took off from mid air, but yeah. So now after flying away, you wanna come back and actually land it. And you're like, oh crap, I have to land it in my hands also. How do I do that? So to land, you're just gonna do actually the opposite of what I showed you of taking off. You're gonna wanna make sure that you grab the vertical part of the rear leg and yeah. So you're gonna bring it back to yourself. And then also in order to shut off the propellers, you're gonna have to bring down the left stick all the way this time. Now push it up, that'll take it off. It'll put it up into the air again. You're gonna wanna make sure that you pull down on the left stick. So let me just bring it back to myself and I'll show you what I mean. Get it about arm's length away. Bring it down. Grab it. And then pull down on the left stick. And as you'll see, there you go. The propellers shut off by themselves with pulling it down, obviously. Now, after you've landed, first off, congratulations. Great job, <laughs> you didn't cut yourself. Now you just power off the drone, the opposite way of turning it on, obviously. 
and there you go. Now you have learned how to safely take off and land your drone in your hands. So anyways guys, it's pretty much it for this video. I hope it helped you guys out, and if you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you'd like to suggest future videos for me, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. I try to check out all the comments, and I try to make videos based on them, so leave what you want to see in the future down in there. If you want to subscribe and see more of my videos in the future, make sure to click that big button below to subscribe, even if you're on mobile. If you'd like to check out my last video, that should be up there, and some random drone videos should be down there. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.